Question 53 of Leak Code, Maximum Subarray. Given an integer array nums, find the contiguous subarray containing at least one number which has the largest sum and return its sum. A subarray is a contiguous part of an array. Okay, so in the example here, we have a nums array, which is just an array full of integers. And our output is six because we have a subarray here, which equals six. So that's the maximum subarray within this nums array and contiguous here. That just means that these numbers follow one after the other. So let's work out a way to solve this. So because it's asking for an optimal number, the maximum, this should lead us to think of a DP solution. So DP uses the smallest possible solution to carry out a larger solution, to carry out a larger solution until you have completed the nums array and you have found your answer. So let's work through a DP solution. So in order to work out the total maximum, we need to work out the current maximum. So we need to work out the maximum from this point. So let's call this DP array we have here. Let's call this current max, okay? Now, what is the maximum value at nums at zero index? Well, it's minus two, right? So the maximum at this point is also minus two. If we move on to the next position, the current max here can either be one or it can be one plus minus two because we're using this value to help computate this value. So in this case, it's going to be one, right? Because that's going to be greater and we're working out the max here than minus two plus one. So here, the maximum will be updated to one. Then we move along. We have minus three here. So we can use minus three as the maximum or we can use one plus minus three as the maximum. So we'll use one plus minus three, which is minus two. And as you can see, a trend is grown here. We look at the maximum here. The maximum between one and minus two is one. So we leave that the same, but there is a trend and that is the recurrence relation of this DP program. So current max, is going to be equal to maximum between nums at i or current max plus nums at i. So current max. And this will then be used to computate the rest of the current maxes. And as you can see, we're going to be updating the max as we go along and then we'll be able to return the maximum. So let's just fill in the rest. So at this point, we have a maximum between four and four plus minus two. So it's going to be four. So we can update the max here. That'd be four. Moving along, we've got minus one. So the maximum between minus one and minus one plus four is three. Here we don't need to update the maximum, so we move along. At this point, we have a maximum between two and two plus three. So that is going to become five. We update the max here, five. At this point, we have a maximum between one and one plus five. So that's gonna be six. Maximum is updated again to six. At this point, we have minus five or minus five plus six. So that's gonna be one. And at this point, we have a maximum between four or four plus one. So that's gonna be five. So the maximum didn't update on the last two. And then we can just return this value, which is what we're looking for. So in terms of time complexity, this is going to be O of N because we're looping through the nums array once. So N is the integers within the nums array and we're going to be doing this in place. So space complexity is going to be O of one. Okay, so let's, let's start off this uh, dynamic programming solution. So we said that we'd have a current max variable, right? And that's going to be initially set at nums at zero. And then we're going to have a maxima variable, which is going to also be set at nums at zero. So we're going to loop through nums starting from one. And the reason for this is because we already set this value here. So this is the initial value which we have set. So we don't need to loop through that. Okay. I is less than nums dot length I plus plus. Then we just need to update current max and maximum and current max is going to be the recursive relation within this dynamic programming solution. So it's going to be the maximum between nums at i and current max plus nums at i. And then we just need to update the maxima, which is going to be equal to the maximum between maxima and current max. And then we can just return maxima and give this a go. So it's been accepted, let's submit it. Okay, great. 